This tutorial will show you how to create a pop-up in ProtoShare by using states to hide and show components. From our example, you should gain a good understanding on how to use states. We're working in an example project and we'll open a page I've already started. Here, we can see a container of content that we want to appear as a pop-up window when clicking on a button. The button component will activate the pop-up. To create the interactivity we want from a pop-up window, we'll first need to create a new state. There are two ways to do this. First, we can open the listing and choose New State, or, since we already need to set the visibility of our container, we can select the container and open the inspector. In the Visibility section, we will click the Visible Only When field. We're given a state prompt. We can choose a state that's already created on this page, if available, or create a new state. We'll create a new state and name it Pop-Up. By default, we're given two values, Off and On. The first value, in this case Off, is the default value upon page load. These two values work for our Pop-Up so we can just click Save. Recall that we are setting the visibility of our container, so now that we have a state to choose from, we want the container to only be visible when pop-up is on. Notice that the pop-up is no longer visible. Now we need to set the action that triggers the pop-up's visibility. On the button component, we have the action options of on hover, on click, on double click, or on right click. For this example, we'll choose on click. So on click, we want the pop-up set to on and save it. From the canvas, we can test our pop-up by using test mode or by selecting the state values in the listing. Let's make sure the state is set to on because we're not quite done yet. With our pop-up visible, we need to select the areas that will trigger the pop-up to be hidden. We'll multi-select Save, Cancel, and the X icon in the corner. From the inspector, let's select On Click under Actions. With these selections, we want the pop-up to be off. Click Save. Let's reset our states and test the functionality by going into test mode. This concludes the state pop-up tutorial. To access additional help resources, visit the support section of protoshare.com.